I'm Preetha Ram. I am the Assistant Dean for Science here at Emory College and I am co-directing the Emory to Bed Science Partnership. The story actually starts, I guess, much earlier than today. Somewhere in the spring of um, 06, we had a, a visit by Geshe Lakdor, who is the director of the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives over in Dharamshala. He mentioned His Holiness's really strong desire to work with Emory on developing a, a really coherent um, science curriculum for the Tibetan monastics. We followed this up and at their invitation we visited His Holiness in Dharamshala and that was a tremendous visit. I, you know, you've got to re remember that His Holiness has got tremendous charisma and during that visit his Holiness talked to us about his interest in science. And so in his talk with us, His Holiness said that you know, the time had come when he, was, he would be really interested in seeing a coherent, comprehensive science curriculum developed for the Tibetan monks, something that could grow into an essential component of the monastic training. That's huge. I mean, that's tremendous. And, and, and as an undertaking in itself, that was tremendous. But to be asked, to be asked by His Holiness to lead the effort on this was also something that we were overwhelmed by. The challenge is to educate a very intelligent adults who have sort of pre-Renaissance conceptual um, paradigms of science and take them to 20th century, 21st century science. When we came back, we contacted our science faculty and um, I was not surprised. I was immediately inundated with, um, with people volunteering their time and their effort. So what we have here at Emory is now a, a, a very strong um, group, a very strong task force of scientists who are not only great scientists, good scientists, but also they're award-winning educators. So they bring that dual perspective of science and education with experience in developing a curriculum, testing it, assessing it, evaluating it. We all agreed that the first step was we really needed some help and guidance. Um, and we turned to two nationally, internationally um, well-known scientists and Tibetan um, philosophers so one of them was Alan Wallace, and the other was George Dreyfus, and they very kindly consented to come here on campus, spend a considerable amount of time listening to our goals, thinking about it. And both of them have um, a background both in science, and they have trained as Geshe's um, back there in, um, in Dharamshala, so that they could bring to us this dual perspective of science and, um, and Tibetan Buddhist philosophy. And I want to reiterate that it's such an immense task that we realize that we're not going to be able to do all of this alone. But we have the advantage that we have the intellectual resources, the people resources um, of a university, a very large, very good university, and we can bring that to bear. We're very hopeful that we will bring to the table by the, by the time of His Holiness's visit um, something that can accomplish at least a preliminary set of goals and will lead to, in the future, hopefully not too distant future, um, a realization of His Holiness's vision as he articulated in his meetings with us.